Hey folks, how you guys doing? Happy Tuesday! Specifically, happy Taco Tuesday. Greetings from my kitchen. If you watched yesterday's video, you know that I started kind of a wacky experiment in my kitchen here, in my crock pot, to make a vegan barbecue taco. They kind of resemble a street taco, something to resemble like a pulled pork or a pulled beef, but make it vegan. That was my experiment, that was the plan that I began yesterday. If you missed yesterday, here is who was already in the party. One small can of tomato paste, one can of tomato sauce, one quarter cup balsamic vinegar, one quarter cup honey. Then to that I added one cup of dark brown sugar and a can of these chipotle peppers. That sounds like Ruby Sue. Do you want to go outside, Ruby Sue? Would you like to go outside? She doesn't care too much for Chipotle peppers. Let's put her outside. Okay, I think I was here. Was I here? Tomato paste, tomato sauce, quarter cup, quarter cup, a jar or rather a can of these Chipotle peppers. I'm a big fan of spicy, spicy foods, especially Chipotles. So if you're not a fan of spicy foods, take those with a little bit of caution. I dumped in all the sauce and all the peppers and all the seeds. Everything went in there. Then did I mention the one cup of solid packed dark brown sugar went in there. In addition to that is an entire bottle of Strongbow hard apple cider. And here comes the wacky part. Here comes the experimental part that I was talking about. I added in an entire bag of this coleslaw. It's got green and red cabbage and carrots. Everything went in there. About seven o'clock last night I turned it on low. I let it cook all night long while I slept. The great thing was I woke up to this amazing smell. My, my house smelled like a barbecue place. It was great. It's a great smell to, to wake up to. What I wasn't expecting to happen was that all my vegetables in here cooked down completely. So I was left with this kind of mush, which is fine because that mush is very delicious. For someone who doesn't make a lot of barbecue sauces and who kind of pulled this together kind of willy-nilly, just knowing what I know about flavors and about how to put together a barbecue sauce, I'm in love with the sauce. It's a great hot barbecue sauce, which I'll definitely make again someday. But it's not going to make a very good barbecue taco. So I went back to Publix today and bought another bag of coleslaw. This is now at room temperature. This is about to come to boil. So once this gets all ooey gooey goodness bubbling, I'll dump this in there, shut it all off down here. Because I don't need to cook the coleslaw, right? Just kind of bring it to temperature, bring it all the same temperature, and we'll see if it works out. What do you guys think? I think it's going to work out. If not, hey, at least we tried, right? Let's find out together. You guys ready? Let's find out in five, four, three, two, one. Luna is ready. Are you ready? To try something new? Ruby Sue's ready. Golden Retriever in the golden sunlight. And me getting ready to try something new here on my patio. My taco. It's all hot and delicious looking. But will it taste delicious? That remains to be seen. I have not tried this yet. I promise you, I have not tried this yet. First time right here, me and you. Together, you and me. Here we go. The way I figure it, those guys on Food Network, they get away with eating on TV, right? Eating their food in front of their television cameras. I'm going to do the same. Here you go, Bobby Flay. Here we go. It's kind of messy. Here we go. Ready? First impression, it's hot, temperature-wise hot. And there's the heat. Holy smokes. One minute, cool off time. But I gotta tell you, that was good too. Check this out. Kona Brewing. 
lemongrass and ginger. That's a good beer. That's a great beer for something like this. Hot and spicy and smoky. Sweet over here. Gingery. Good combo. Good good pairing. Good good food pairing. I'm gonna take one more army mosquito mailable. Take one more quick bite. Just to be sure. What I like about it, two things are uh, Im immediately comes to my mind. Even though the cabbage didn't provide the texture of meat, I'm okay with that. For me, it's all about heat. For me, the cabbage was the, hopefully going to be there to provide a texture and you know, a place for the barbecue sauce to stick to and eat comfortably inside of a taco shell. So for me, it wasn't so much imitating meat. Okay, for me it was more of finding something fun and clever to transport the flavor from here to here, right? Which I think it worked out well. I also like the fact that sometimes if you eat like a street taco, they'll put a slaw on top of it. Anyway, as a garnish or as a cooling off thing, if it's a hot meat or a hot taco, they'll put a coleslaw. A slaw of some sort on top to kind of cool things off. This is slaw, but it's not cooling anything off. It's hot, definitely hot. Pardon me. I was a little heavy on the chipotle peppers, I'm afraid. So, whoo! But now it's going away. Let's take one more quick sip. Hang on. That's better. Overall, I would say success. A little hot, even for me. But success, fun, a fun play on a taco gets all the big barbecue flavors of a taco with all the flair of eating as a vegan. I kind of like that. Now I think if I serve this again, I would tone down the heat a little bit. Cut up some avocado, maybe some scallion, and maybe some black beans and rice. But this was just meant to be an experiment to see if it would work. And I'm going to say success. It's a hot taco, but full of flavor. It was fun making it. If you guys liked it, like it here on Facebook. Don't forget to share it. Or don't be afraid to share it. And if you have any comments, anything you've seen, leave some comments down there. I love reading comments. If you're somebody who also makes vegan or vegetarian inspired dishes, if you have any, any things you want to throw my way, um, I'd love to hear your advice, things that you guys are doing at home. On behalf of myself and my wonderful two dogs, my delicious new taco and barbecue sauce. Thanks for watching and tuning in. All the kind of good stuff. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to finish off this right here. Take this out there. And go chill out for a little bit. Alright, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Say bye, Ruby Sue.